Dave on expected back on the field today? Uh, Amari, not just yet, but progressing uh, well. And then Dewan, I didn't get an update yet this morning, but he, he's feeling better. He participated in the walkthrough yesterday, so he's feeling better. Kevin, given how, given how much Deshaun likes to throw the ball downfield, he can do so effectively, I and mean, given your personnel this year, how much more of the deep ball do you think can be a weapon for you guys this season? Yeah, I think the deep ball is is certainly a part of what we want to do, what everybody wants to know. I think there's varying ways to get there. There's the old school, just take five and a hitch and launch a go ball, uh, and, and that's certainly good ball when, when you like your matchup. Uh, then there's varying ways in the play action game to try to get the quarterback on the perimeter and give him time to set up and push the ball down the field. So I think it's so dependent on what the defense is allowing you to do. And then it's really dependent on your guys. Who, who, who do you want to put where? Who do you want to put on the go ball? Who do you want to put on that deep post, on that far cross, those type of things? So uh, certainly will be part of what we do. How we get to it, I think, will vary. Given, given Nick's ability and then Deshaun to get out inside the pocket, you would think that that could be something you guys could, could be really effective for you this year? Yeah, for sure. I mean, uh, like we talked about the other day, you know, having Nick Chubb on our team, we're obviously excited to use Nick like we have in the past uh, few years to, to great success. And then defenses know that we have Nick Chubb, so they're going to try to take him away, and that opens up things in the past game. Kevin, when you add a guy like Rodney, how, how important is that guy in that room, especially with all those young guys? Yeah, I think over the course of time, you've seen us add – guys that really help us on the field and then they also help us off the field and in, in the locker room and in those meeting rooms. I think of a guy like Malcolm Smith, uh, who we were fortunate to have in 2020 and 2021, a veteran who had been there, done that, won a championship uh, and played really good football for us, uh, maybe in a smaller role, but played good ball and, and provided great leadership off the field as well. And then another guy, uh, the coach in that room, after I wanted to ask you about yeah. what, what was it that you liked about him and that Jim liked about him? Yeah, we you know we were looking for a lot of things in that role, but somebody that was a, a really a good young football coach with uh, energy and, and experience, and, and I think Ephraim's a, I think he's a really good coach. Uh, he came highly recommended. Talked to a lot of people about him. That was an expansive search when we hired uh, Ephraim. So he he really he he won that job, uh, and he did a nice job uh, throughout that process. But very very intelligent. Uh, for a young coach who has really seen a lot, has been everywhere, if you will, uh, and I think relates really well to our players. I know you've seen all your defensive linemen individually and even some of them play, but like, is there a mystery there at all to how they will fit together with Zeke coming and Oval coming and even Dalvin? Well, yeah, I think that's the, the fun part for us and for Jim and for our defensive staff is putting all those pieces together. Like you mentioned, uh, I mean, it's not a mystery in the success that Zedarius has, has had in this league, and and, it's, and you've seen what Oboe can do. So now it's just a matter of taking all of our guys and taking a Dalvin Tomlinson uh, along with our established guys that have been here and, and, and figuring out a, a formula that makes sense for for us. Is that one of the main things you're looking forward to when the heads finally get out? Because we talked in minicamp, you can't really see exactly what they yeah, can do. Yeah, I mean, that's – I think the – Padded practices, the games, the, the really the whole month of August will allow us to see how we want to deploy those guys. Kevin, with a number of receivers sidelined right now, do you have enough this camp to get the job done, uh, or do you need maybe the feature goal? Or yeah, I, I think we have enough, Mary Kay, but it, you're right. Uh, you know, <laughs> that wide receiver position, every training camp you start to run out of guys. So Coach O'Shea, as you know, does a great job of, of getting the guys in there that need the reps getting a lot of young guys reps. You know, you mentioned Demetric Felton. He, that could be something where we pull Demetric in if we need him. I don't think we're there uh, just yet. Demetric's really focusing on that running back position, and he's doing a nice job as well. When, when you evaluate uh, Greg Nelson's two seasons with the Browns, how much of the zero interceptions is on him? And how big a factor is that? From the yeah, I think, I think you have to be so careful with interceptions, similar to sacks. You know, with sacks, it's a stat that everybody uses for uh, the defensive line and, and for offense, really, for that matter. But uh, really, we're looking at quarterback pressures are, are so important to us when it comes to defensive line. Similarly, with the secondary, you need the ball to get thrown your way in order to have an interception. Uh, and then, so how many balls are coming your way? What, what are you doing when the ball does come your way? Are you defending uh, the player? Are you knocking the ball away? Those type of things. Obviously, goes without saying, we love interceptions. Our DBs love interceptions. And that's something that's a goal for all of our guys. But uh, I think it can be a little bit misleading. Going back to Dimitri for a second. Yeah. Um, you know, first couple of years he spent 
a lot of time with the receivers, not a lot of time with the running backs. Are you um, are you pleased like with where he is as a running back uh, right now, or do you kind of feel like uh, that portion of his game needs a little more polishing at this level? Well, first of all, he's a good football player, uh, and and he's played both. He played both in college. I think it's premature to say anything about what he's done for us at running back just because we haven't had games yet. But he'll get plenty of reps throughout the preseason, both in practice and in games, uh, where I think we'll see where he's he's come. I mean, it's it's not a new position for him because he's played it in college, but it's new for us, uh, so to speak. Kevin, you've been around a little, a little bit now. What's maybe something that, you know, just in time getting to know him that, you know, kind of surprised you? you, know, you I didn't know he was a skateboarder. That's new. Uh, we have a lot of skateboarders on this team. Uh, I'm not going to out them, but uh, we, ha we have a bunch of guys. Uh, Obo, uh, really uh, diligent worker, uh, does a nice job both uh, in practice and post-practice. He's kind of the guy leading the charge and getting guys to do extra. Um, so he, he's a worker. I think he's had an interesting career to, to date. Like he, As he would tell you, you know, there's always different paths to it, but uh, we're, we're really – fortunate to have him and, and we're excited for what he's going to do for our defense. How much is, you know, going from what he was doing when he first came in with like the Rams to what he's doing now, how much of a transition, you know, I know you have to stop in Houston. Right. But is, is yeah, he's, he's played in different schemes and, and systems. I, I think as we talked to him about adding him this offseason, he's very excited about what he can do in a system like this and how <laughs> we're going to utilize him and and really let him go and, and let him rush the passer and let him get off and disrupt blocks and those type of things. So I think he's excited about it. Uh, but those are all conversations that we had as we were, you know, trying to sell him on our opportunity. We see Miles working. You're giving some tips to Alex and Isaiah, you know, during the drill. What kind of impact can that have if Miles really gives some of the knowledge and tips that he has? Yeah, I, I think you see that really at every position. That that's a that's being a great teammate is passing on some of those tips and those things that you've really gotten from others. I mean, that's that's paying it forward. I'm sure there were guys that took Miles uh, under their wing when, when he was a young player. Uh, I can think of, I can picture Amari and Marquise out here taking our young receivers through some things. So that, that's what you do as a good teammate. With Miles and just how effortlessly he seems to go through a lot of the drills, uh, you know, that are out here. With Jim coming in and kind of tweaking how that front line is going to operate, a guy coming off back-to-back 16-sack -back season, how excited do you get as a coach knowing the impact that Miles can have, but also that increasing just by some of the changes that you guys made this offseason? Yeah, I mean, I think all of changes, you know, scheme to scheme or there are obviously changes there are obviously changes but I'd say they're more, more nuanced than major uh, and Miles has had a lot of success uh, for us in the in a four down front uh, he, he's one on the right on the left inside uh, you know he, he's really as we talked about Nick the other day I mean Miles is very similar in that he can fit in any scheme but we've seen him uh, in these four down fronts to be very disruptive uh, so I think for us it's unlocking the next step for Miles like it is every player I, I think any one of our players would, would tell you there's more than they can give. Uh, I, I don't care where they are in their career, what they've accomplished. I always think there's more that they can give. When you, when you say unlock the next step for him, what, it, what, what does that mean? Well, I, you know, I don't know what exactly uh, numbers or that type of thing, but uh, I would just tell you that there's no player on the field today that can't get better. And, and for Miles, I think that's, that's, that's the truth. It's also a mentality. That's why we're out here working. Kevin, what sets uh, Joel apart from other Hmm, that's a good question. Uh, he's, you know, there's guys that you come across in your career and you watch them on tape and as you're watching it, you'll say teach tape and, and you'll tag the play and you're, okay, I'm going to grab that clip and that's going to be how we teach that technique because he does it so, so well. Uh, Joel's somebody that is constantly in game, in practice, doing it exactly the way you want it done. So he, he's a teach tape player. Uh, he's done it at a high level for a very, very long time. But, you know, in terms of his skill set, I don't know that there's many guards that, that have the combination of, of power, uh, movement skills, um, the ability to pass protect. Uh, so he, he's really uh, a, a guy. I, I see a very, very complete player. 
um, and, and, and a great person off the field as well. I mean, he, he's a huge part of what we do. He, he's a, a huge leader uh, for this football team. About a month ago, Malik Jackson was on NFL Network and he kind of questioned Miles' leadership, not on Sundays, but during the week. And it took it to mean that, uh, pra not practice, but meetings. He, he, he doesn't seem to leave during the week with his teammates. Are you satisfied with that part of the I don't know exactly, you know, what Malik said or, or meant. You know, Malik's a guy that played for us and, and you know, uh, did a great job here. Um, I would tell you, with Miles and how he leads and, and how he works, uh, you know, I think he does a really nice job. I think the young players uh, see a guy that you know has come a long way. Miles is, is still, he's not a young, he's not a pup anymore, uh, but he is growing into that leadership role and does a nice job of it.